Holographic and red dot sights are the two most popular optic choices for long guns. Hollow sights are generally heavier than red dots without many aftermarket lightweight mount options, yet both are durable and accurate when correctly zeroed. At first glance, they appear similar, but they have subtle differences which we will highlight in this video for those considering their first rifle optic purchase. The first difference is reticle clarity. Many people have some form of astigmatism, which can cause both reticles to appear blurry or ghosted, especially for users with poor vision. Having near 20-20 vision or getting vision correction generally fixes the issue. When comparing them side by side, for instance, the EO Tech appears noisy, while the Holosun AEMS seems sharper and cleaner. This difference has to do with the emitter projection. While they are designed for the shooter to have both eyes open and focus on the target instead of the reticle, a red dot projects the reticle directly onto the front lens, whereas a holographic sight uses laser emitter. The noisy reticle in holographic sights is a result of speckle, caused by the interference of light waves traveling different paths and then recombining, leading to areas of constructive and destructive interference. On a red dot, dot sizes can also appear different where a bigger dot appears rounder and it doesn't get covered up by emitter starburst as much as a tiny, small dot. Take a look at this. The EO Tech doesn't overwhelm the field of view with emitter glare or reflection until the brightness is set to max. On a red dot sight, the emitter glare and emitter reflection are more apparent. A strong white light can also wash out the glare, but might also overpower the reticle, depending on distance. This is where some people have looked into optics with auto brightness adjustment like the RMR HD, where the reticle brightness is set based on the target plane's lighting condition instead of the surrounding light sources. This can make zeroing very difficult if you can't see where exactly the point of aim is. Take a look at this target at 36 yards. The aim can be 2 MOA off, but you don't notice it until the sight picture is zoomed in. This is where a 3X magnifier scope is very helpful for zeroing and extending the range capability of your optic. While the aiming reticle may not be exactly perfect for users with non-perfect vision, what you can do is improve your shooting with this auto trigger reset training tool for dry firing while saving ammo cost. If you haven't seen this before, the Mantis Blackbeard is currently only available for AR-15s and the MCX. Just replace the bolt carrier group and dry fire using your actual trigger to improve split time and cadence. Check the link below for more info. Next, let's discuss battery life performance. Red dot sights from budget to premium models now have incredibly long battery lives, ranging from 20,000 to 100,000 hours. 50,000 hours being the standard while running on a single CR2232 or a CR1632 battery. In contrast, a holographic sight like the EOTech uses a laser emitter that consumes more battery power than an LED emitter on a red dot. So holographic sights will continue to have shorter battery lives than red dots until technology improves. The third difference is availability. The market offers a limited selection of high-quality holographic sights, where there are more red dot options for handguns and long guns. Red dots are generally way cheaper for beginners to get started. Also, there are more mount options for red dots than holographic sights, and some can raise the optic height and some are designed to save weight. Lastly, we address parallax distortion. Although not perfect, holographic sights handle eye position shifts better than red dots. Each optic displays slightly different parallax behaviors. Remember, no optic is 100% parallax free, even if it appears so. For long range shots, a magnifier scope is highly recommended to center the eye position to minimize parallax. A 3X or a 6X magnifier requires the shooter to align their eye behind the optic to see the reticle clearly, similar to using a prism sight. Otherwise, scope shadow obstructs the view. Please leave a comment, which one do you prefer? If you like this type of content, please like and watch this one next.